We use the convolution theorem to solve the initial value problem. Y prime minus 2y equals e to the t, y of 0 equals 0. Now, our approach is going to be as usual. We're going to take Laplace transform of both sides, solve for the Laplace transform of y. Normally, we would have to go to partial fractions, but instead we're going to pull out the convolution theorem. So, we write down our definition of Laplace transform. Okay, we're not going to use it here. We're going to focus on the derivative rule. So that says, if we take the Laplace transform of the derivative, say y prime, we get the Laplace transform of y times s minus y0. Now, in this case, we have y0 equals 0. So here we'll just have the Laplace transform of y prime equal to s times Laplace transform of y. Now, if I have two things equal, we apply the Laplace transform. What comes out stays equal. So we're going to apply it to our ODE. So we have this equation here. On the right-hand side, Laplace transform of e to the t. Okay, if we take it of e to the a t, we get 1 over s minus a. Here, a is equal to 1. So I get a 1 over s minus 1. On the other side, I can apply linearity. So that says I can break up the sum, factor out any numbers. So then when we replace Laplace transform of y prime with s times Laplace transform of y. You'll note we can factor out an s minus 2, and then I can isolate Laplace transform of y. Now, this is the step where we normally go to partial fractions and then look up each term in your list of Laplace transforms. Okay, instead of doing that, we're going to go to the convolution theorem. So, what does that say? So, first, we have our definition of convolution. So, we're going to have f convolved with g, okay, evaluated t. It's going to be equal to, okay, we're in the integral from 0 to t of f of r, g of t minus r, dr. So note, t is being treated as a constant here, and it's also in one of our limits. Now, with that definition, if we take the Laplace transform of a convolution, it's going to be the same as taking the product of the Laplace transforms. So how does that help us? Well, if you know it, Take the Laplace transform of our y, we get 1 over s minus 2, s minus 1. So if we split this up as a product, I can identify each term as Laplace transform of an exponential. So the idea is the Laplace transform of e of the a t is 1 over s minus a. So we'll have Laplace transform of e to the t times Laplace transform of e to the 2t. Now, since we have a product of Laplace transforms, we can combine them as a convolution. So I have the Laplace transform of e to the t convolved with e to the 2t. Now, note, I want to get rid of the Laplace transforms on the outside. So we do that by applying the inverse Laplace transform. Then L inverse cancels with L, and we're left with y equals e to the t convolution e to the 2t. So we just write out the definition. Okay, right here, what do we get? We're going to have integral from 0 to t, e to the r, e to the 2, t minus r. Okay, t minus r is our variable here, dr. So note, we can factor out e to the 2t. Okay, we're integrating with respect to r, so t is treated as a constant. And then we're just left integrating from 0 to t of e to the minus r, dr. So any derivative of e to the minus r is just minus e to the minus r, we evaluate at t and 0, take the difference. Then when we push through the e of the 2t, what happens? We get e of the 2t minus e to the t as our solution. Of course, you should check your work, but I'll leave that to you.